let's look at what we can do with a list uh, having to do with what's in the list. One of the things we can do is sort the list. If we sort the list, uh, we're going to end up with values that have been sorted, in this case, numerically. And this will work both for strings and integers, all, or and in numbers, although uh, strings and numbers cannot be uh, sorted together. As you can see, sorted is allowing me to take a list of values, pass it to the sorted function, and receive back a list of items, the same list of items, but they've been put in order. If we want them to be in reverse order, we can use a special argument to sort it, something called a keyword argument that lets us say reverse equals true, and that will reverse the sort uh, going from highest to lowest. Of course, this is the next step towards uh, determining, let's say, the top three values or the bottom three values. Because if we have a sorted like this, sorted, sorted list like this, we only need to ask for the first three items in a sorted list, and we're seeing, in this case, the top three items. So working with a sorted list can be really, really meaningful. Uh, in addition, if we were interested in the median value, very, very easy to calculate. So this is the top three values. Uh, the median value is going to just be based on uh, the proper index of the middle value. You understand that the median value is the middle value in a list of values. So if we, let's say, print the original sorted list and see what we get. Here's the original sorted list. This would be the median value, 8.7. Now, of course, we want to arrive at that programmatically. Um, and the way we're going to do that is first ask, what's the index of the middle value? The answer here is 3. It's the fourth item in a sorted list. That's where uh, the median value is in this particular example of uh, an odd number of elements. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are seven items in this list. And the middle value is at index uh, 3. Question would be, how could we calculate the middle index, 3, from a list of 7 items? And if you think about it long enough, uh, you'll come to the realization that if you were to get the len of that list, which would get us 7, if you were then to divide uh, the len of, let's just make this LSX, and if you were to divide that number um, by 2, you would get 3.5. If you were then to, um, oops, if you were then to uh, integerize that result, you'd see 3. <clears throat> 3 is the middle index of the sorted list, and thus the index of uh, a position of the median value. So if we were to print the median value through the middle index, we should see 8.7, which is supposedly the median index. Oops, did I get that right? Let's print out that sorted list one more time. Maybe I got it wrong in terms of the middle index. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I'm a little confused. Oh, of course I see it. I didn't use the sorted list. That should get me 8.7. I was getting the median index of the unsorted list. The other sort of analysis I wanted to bring up in this video is the membership test. The membership test is uh, checking to see if a value is inside the list. This will be true because um, the value 9.2 is in the list. Uh, and this is how we use in membership tests in order to um, uh, identify whether a value is somewhere in the container.